Hi, I'm Jeff McKnight, and this is Aaron Nagel, and Aaron's going to be working on a uh, film uh, movie uh, called Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Um, the mini movie. It's a mini movie, yep. Um, I technically am going to be the music composer and uh, Lord... DeMuth, and De he's also going to be in charge of yeah. casting. And uh, I'll be the casting director. Um, to assist Aaron in his uh, interviewing process for other cast members. Um, at this point, uh, I'm going to turn you over to Aaron here, and he has some things to say about the film. So, basically, I thought of this a week ago. Um, I was just browsing along, and I ran across some uh, professional people had posted some uh, professional props of, for the original uh, Power Rangers series, and... Um, and when I was looking, I was like, oh my god, are you serious? They actually have these things? And I checked some other websites about that people were wearing the actual Power Ranger costumes from the original. I was like, oh my god, I got to do a movie on this. Oh my gosh. And so uh, here we are, um, almost a week later, and um, I've created a movie, as Jeff was saying, uh, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers mini-movie. And um, right now, we are in the middle of our casting process. Um, I've had about 10 people so far respond to my ad. Yep. And uh, we've got, <clears throat> as far as I know, there are four auditions set up. Uh, we got a gentleman coming in on Saturday at noon uh, to uh, audition for Tommy the Green Ranger. And this guy knows Kung Fu, which is awesome because uh, no one else does. And we need someone to help us with combat training. So that would be nice. And then uh, we got a guy... Who's coming in on Sunday at one? Uh, same name as me, by the way. His name is Aaron as well. Aaron Aaron uh, Schimmeld. Who, uh, when I looked at his profile, he looked exactly like a Billy, just the way he looked and the glasses that he was wearing. He's just like, oh my God, there's my Billy right there. He looks exactly like him. So I uh, sent him some messages, and uh, he's 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 all he's all for it. Uh, he thinks Power Rangers is pretty cool, so uh, I let him know the details, and he's. Uh, uh, send him the audition script, and he's ready to come in on Saturday, and then I've got, uh, or Sunday, excuse me, at 1, and then i got uh, a, la uh, um, a lady coming in uh, later in the evening to uh, audition for the part of Trini or Kimberly, and uh, then i got one other gentleman coming in at 4 o'clock Sunday uh, to audition for Zach, the Black Ranger, and ironically, the guy's black, too, so it makes perfect sense. But anyway, um, sure. that's the details on that. Um, Jeff's also, you said you're going to be the music uh, music coordinator, right? Yeah, I'll coordinate with you on the music part of it. You know, what battles, uh, sounds you would need in the movie. Uh, I have a special effects boom mic that I can work with Aaron on for voiceovers. Um, so it should be pretty cool. Um, Aaron, I think, is good with uh, the visual effects for the movie and stuff like that. He was doing that um, at his college at Lake Washington Technical College, so he has the experience and sort of the editing uh, background for the movie, so I think Eric can do a good do job uh, with uh, producing the movie. Yep, and then I'm also going to be playing <clears throat> Jason the Red Ranger as well, um, because I like to put myself in the film. Because I want to see myself in that outfit, so it's pretty cool. And um, we've got, uh, yeah. So Jeff's got uh, those parts, and we've got uh, uh, one of my other buddies is going to be doing uh, the camera operate, uh, camera operation, and um, we're going to try to find someone who can do editing and uh, After Effects because we're going to need After Effects. We're going to need special effects definitely um, for the you know, the sparks and explosions that happen when we attack, when we, uh, destroy the monster, which at this point is Beefy Tenderloin. You should have and, my character uh, named Beefy Tenderloin, too. But, uh, <laughs> it's interesting. Um, but, uh, we might have to change the name because it just sounds really cheesy. Excuse yeah, me, it sounds it. cheesy, yeah. I got an itch underneath my eyes. Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, that's what's going on right now. Um, I'm ordering props, um, I've got, uh, I've already ordered my, uh, ra uh, my Red Ranger helmet, and, um, that was shipped earlier in the week, and it, it, it could arrive as early as, uh, this upcoming Monday, uh, which would be the 14th, 
uh, any 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 time between Monday and probably Sunday, or the Monday actually of the following week. So, uh, be excited to uh, try that helmet on and see what I look like. And um, and then I've got a professional costume designer over in Thailand, who is working on my suit, um, the suit and the the uh, the head cloth that goes underneath the helmet, so you don't get your hair stuck. Uh, in the helmet, which is a good thing, because yeah. if you get hair stuck, and it hurts like heck. So uh, we have that. Um, he's actually in the process of making it. He had he got the materials last weekend, this week, and he's actually start working on it. And then uh, he's gonna send it out, uh, not too too far after. So uh, be looking into that. And then um, I've ordered some props. Jeff knows I've been um, working on getting the guns, the the little gun swords that they have, um, and they're exact replicas. So they look like the real thing, and uh, they have the gun, and it uh, flips out and becomes a blade and a sword and all in one. So um, I'm actually getting a green one for Tommy, because he's the Green Ranger, so he's going to have a green gun sword, um, which uh, hopefully will arrive tomorrow after uh, a significant delay of not being delivered today, but I don't want to go into detail about that. Uh, we'll just say post office has an issue. Anyway, um, Jeff can agree with that. Post office has problems. Yeah, you'll probably either get it tomorrow, if not Friday. You'll end up getting it Monday or Tuesday, excluding the weekend. Uh, I'm working on, uh, right now, um, putting uh, my MIDI keyboard back into the computer and getting ready for any uh, audio work that Aaron needs done for the movie. And I'm working on creating... Um, some different tracks and putting uh, basically an audio CD for um, the battle um, effects. Uh, I think Aaron's going to keep the uh, original um, introduction to the uh, the movie, um, the, the Power Rangers theme song, but um, he's going to let me do the, uh, the battle scenes and possibly the ending... Uh, I, I may do the Power Ranger movie. theme song, but the opening credits um, is, be all is, is going to be different than uh, the show because uh, mm -hmm. we'll have our own opening sequence. Um, but the song will probably be very much the same, but the uh, the video footage for the intro is going to be different, obviously, because we don't want to take too much copyright off of it. And um, Still don't know what we're going to do for the special effects you know, with the Megazord. I don't know how we're going to do that without too much copyright. Yeah, but, um, you know, we just have to find, uh, you, you'll end up getting the correct uh, software that will uh, enable you to put the effects in once the, the video shoots are done. Yeah, if we can find someone that is willing to help with that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because I, we don't have any clue on how to work that stuff, so. Yeah, you should uh, be able to find people that might have editing software that can do that. But, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much what's going on. So um, the props I've ordered so far is the helmet, the suit. I've ordered one regular gun sword um, for, for my ranger and then the green gun sword. So I've got four more gun swords to order, so all six have a gun sword. Um, the power weapons are probably not going to happen. Um, you can't exactly buy a power sword. Or, or a uh, power lance, which is like this freaking long, um, just can't happen unless you customize and, and, and make it out of your own material. That's the best way you're going to be able to do it. Yeah, or you um, can go to like uh, any of the party stores. They might have some props, like for my, uh, for Lord, uh, well, the move. The move. <laughs> Well, you can call him Lord Demuth. Um, for like his staff and stuff, I should be able to find that like at a you know a basic party store. But with the editing software, we can achieve other you know like 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 uh, missiles coming out of it, or you know like a like you know electric beams coming out of it and stuff like that for the movie. So I have uh, the utmost faith in Aaron to create this movie and. Uh, I think, he, I think he will do a good job. Yeah, I think this will be a success. I mean, uh, I've done previous little films in the past, and uh, everyone knows they turn out really horrible because, for one, we don't have a script. We just wing it. And uh, most of the people that are ever in it,